That's too wavy. <laughs> My brakes weren't working. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another video. I'm Connor and I have been working on my Kona process, changing the forks out and the front wheel. So last video, we got the forks on and it was quite a laugh to be fair. It was fun, learned a lot. Um, hopefully you guys did as well. I got a bit scared with oh. the bearings and whatnot. I wasn't really expecting them to pop out and uh, luckily they didn't go all over the place, but um, I only fitted the forks and then in this video, I'm just gonna run through how I fitted the front wheel because I've gone from a 27 to a 29. So now my bike is a mullet and the first time ever fitting tubeless tires with the um, liquid that goes in it. What one did I use? I'll put it in the bin now. I think I used the muck off sealant to go in there, which is um, pretty cool. So it's quite quite weird fitting a tire that doesn't have an inner tube. Um, I'll put a new valve in there as well. Looks really nice, pumped it up. Looks like it's holding pressure. Had to swap out the disc brake from my old 27.5 wheel onto my 29. I was being really careful not to touch obviously the outer bit where the brakes make contact. They do look a bit worn, so might upgrade them in the future. And I think the brakes need bleeding anyway, so that might be another video. But the bike is all back together. And I can't wait to take off the stand. It's gonna be sick. And we're gonna take it out for a ride in this video as well. So stay with me. But just look at this, orange on orange. It's just doing bits for me, honestly. So, so excited. Got a brand new Halo Vortex wheel from Maz at Halo, so cheers for that dude, thank you very much. And I've cut the bars down. I only took 20 mil off either side, so um, we'll see how that goes, because like I said, you can take off, but you can't put it back on, so if I'm not happy, then I'm screwed. But I think, looking at it, it looks really good, so let's get it off the stand. Oh. oh man, you can already see. Can you see? You can already see the, the, the difference, I can anyway, in, in the rake, in the lift. That front wheel looks massive. That looks so sick. It feels so sick, having that big front wheel up the front. Bars feel like they're in a good position. I feel good. I feel really happy about this, the fact that I've done it as well in the garage. So that means if I can do it and you see how bodgy some of the stuff was, then anyone can do it really. I just want to get out and ride it, you know? Oh my God, they feel so bad. It's the first time running seamless, seamless? Tubeless tires as well, with the sealant in the front. Oh, this just feels so nice, honestly. And my trouble was I felt like I was too far forward with the flat bars and now I've got a bit more travel, bigger front wheel. I just feel like I'm going to be a lot more confident going down the trails and down the jumps. So with that being said, let's go take it out. Let's go take it out for a rip, mate. Okay, first ride, new forks, new 29er, no brakes still. <laughs> Cut down the bars as well, it actually feels quite nice. I'm a bit nervous though, because I'm not doubting my work, but just. That's pretty intense. <laughs> just bolts and stuff loose, and don't fancy dying today, you know? Quite a nice little warm up. Yep. Oh man, that's 29 pills. Fucking lovely. Bit of a case there. I'm really good at crossing paths. <laughs> oh, 
does, but you paced, you paced me then, so I actually yeah, got some yeah, good fucking sure. jumps. Nice. nice. I keep telling I'm in my head, whip the other way, whip the other way. All three times I whip the same way. God, proper bucket. <laughs> I got mud in my eye, I nearly hit a tree. in my eyes, I cannot see Sh shit. Paste it a little bit. It's a flat on this one. The sun is so bad. Love that jump. Did you hit it? That was too big to not know it was there. Did you hit it? No. Oh. <laughs> However, that's fine, I can do it next time. Yeah, you got enough speed, mate. Because I came on the corner, looked and went, nope. <laughs> that was a bit fucking flat land in there. Pussy! <laughs> We can't see carry on, what's going on? Yeah. Oh, let's cancel, let's cancel, can oh no, fuck it, do line, fuck it. Jeez! <laughs> Told you you're getting wavy. That was too wavy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> My brakes weren't working. <laughs> that was a bad attempt. I hit my toe on the root and then just smashed into the wood. Yeah. So you're never adjusting on the, on the jump, it's mint. 
like no. semi pro level, then the slowing down afterwards, awful. <laughs> oh, man, I smashed my toe on the root, <laughs> like big time. What, on the jump down? Or? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, hit the root. Oh, you did the big one, did you? Yeah. Yeah, he did the big, yeah. Okay. Oh, no, what, extra speed. <laughs> oh, my toe. Chief Robin. Oh, wet as shit already. It's horrible, isn't it? Around that. Oh, my brakes are really bad. Oh, shit. The last, last of me today. I'm done. My toe is throbbing. Wet, anyway. Wet, disgusting. My toe is just done. Done for. We done. Yeah. Done. 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 Yeah, no, done. Done. Sorry. Tammy. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're gonna call it. Can't fucking see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In conclusion, the mullet is sick. Definitely, definitely a bit of me. 29 up front, 27 on the rear. That's the mullet pretty much summed up. It just feels sick. Like, I don't know if it was like a psychological thing or if I was just overthinking it, but I, I said to myself, when I wanted to do the mullet, having that big wheel up front, it's just gonna give me a bit more confidence and that fork as well. Man, like the Fox 36 fork with a Kashima coating. At first, I didn't know if I had it set up properly because I didn't actually take, really, I didn't actually take this little dial because I bought them second hand, like I said, but um, it didn't have the safety screw. So I didn't want to take it and lose it, but because I didn't take it, I didn't have the opportunity to adjust my settings. So I just rolled with it and it was just, it was just sweet. It was just so much fun. Um, one thing that I definitely want to do is upgrade my pedals because I didn't realize that they did wider pedals for bigger feet. I've got like a 12 and a half, 13 size shoe, so. Apparently they say if you're anything bigger than a, an 11, you should go for the wider pedal. So that's one thing that I'm definitely, definitely going to do. At this moment in time, with all the mods that we did yesterday, everything was sweet. No bolts come loose, there was no rattling, I didn't have any hesitation in the bearings. Narrowing the bars down as well was just perfect. Literally everything was perfect, I was so excited to ride it. And I just feel like it was just so much more forgiving. In the, in the turns, in the jumps, just having that big setup on the front, because I'm quite a tall guy, so it, ju it just made sense for me to give it a go, and I can I can recommend it. If, you, if you're thinking about going mullet, do it, do it for sure. But yeah, that's the video done, and the mullet explained. Bit of fun, obviously had a near crash, I did a drop off, and nearly broke my toe, like I clipped this root so hard, it was absolutely killing me, so we decided to call it a day. But I hope you liked the video, if you have, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in a bit.